News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. Calling it a tale of two seasons in one day. Yeah, look at the temperatures in Columbia this afternoon. Up to 59 degrees just before 3 o'clock. Notice the American flag there starting to flap. The winds picked up and now temperatures are taking a tumble. So we go from record highs today down to the 20s overnight tonight. Temperatures are falling. Here's a live look right now over Harrisburg. And the camera every so often is jostling around because the winds have picked up. Right now it's 43 degrees in the capital city. Feels like it's 34. And check out the winds. Right now sustained winds are at 22 miles per hour, but they're gusting to near 40. Here are the current sustained winds, primarily out of the west, anywhere from 8 in some spots up near 30 miles per hour. But they're gusting in some spots as high as 40 miles per hour. That's the case right now in Redding to near 40 in Lancaster. Carlisle and also in Harrisburg. So if tonight is trash night, may need to anchor down your trash can because the winds will stay up as we head through the overnight hours. Temperatures are falling. We went from the 50s this afternoon now down into the 40s. Lewistown has already dropped to the freezing mark. And look what's back behind that. Temperatures are falling into the upper to mid 20s right now over northwestern Pennsylvania. That's the air that's coming in here later tonight. So it is going to be cool and blustery. There is a chance for some patchy flurries for our northern viewers. Temperatures will be dropping to near freezing and then they keep sliding down into to the 20s overnight tonight. Wind chills, if you're going to be out there, will be down into the lower teens. And then we stay in the 20s through much of the morning tomorrow. We only rise up into, I'd say, close to the freezing mark for tomorrow afternoon. And there is a slight chance for some passing flurries for our northern viewers once again for tomorrow. But we broke the record. Our high today was 58 degrees. The record, the old one, was 57 back in 1950. And we also had the most rainfall ever recorded for January 10th. 1.34 inches for Harrisburg. Some spots saw close to two inches of rain today. It was 60 this afternoon in Lancaster, 56 in Lebanon, and it was also 60 degrees in Carlisle. So some spots have dropped nearly 30 degrees already this evening. Here's a look at the rainfall across the Susquehanna Valley. Close to an inch in Lancaster and York, over an inch in Harrisburg and in Lebanon. That darker green shades, even heavier amounts of rain, close to two inches. Kirkwood, you picked up about an inch and two thirds. Millersburg and Dauphin County, an inch and a half, but more than two inches of rain fell this afternoon in Fairfield. So there's the cold front sweeping across, and look at the temperatures. We went from the upper 50s now down to the 40s, and look back towards Pittsburgh now down into the 20s. This is the first shot of cold air. High pressure is building back in across the midsection of the country, and the pressure difference between the two is setting that cold Canadian air down. But another storm system is moving through the. Um, Pacific Northwest of Canada, that's going to be moving down out of the Rockies and on our doorstep by, I'd say, mid Tuesday. So, tomorrow, cool and blustery. Highs in the lower 30s with the threat of some flurries for our northwestern counties. And then look how quickly that storm system moves across the Great Lakes. Clouds will increase late on Monday. And then, as we head into Tuesday, there may be enough moisture that we could see a few light scattered snow showers. Only possibly looking at a dusting at this point as the storm system moves on through. And then back behind this, even colder Arctic air moves in. So only a high of 32 for tomorrow, but it's going to feel like it's in the 20s all day. Highs only in the 20s on Wednesday. Then we slowly warm back up to near seasonal averages as we approach the weekend. So 50s today, 